Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to welcome everybody to the State Talking This podcast show. This is your host, Mr. Barksdale. This is Gus behind the camera. Yeah, he's not the technical savant today. He's the videography savant. Good shit, Gus. I appreciate your altruism. I'm sitting here with some uh, African-American males, all varying in different ages and uh, different statuses in life. And today we're talking about African-American males, love and relationships, trap or die. You understand what I'm saying? When I say trap or die, that just means, you know, are we going all in with love and relationships or is it, are we just, you know, moving how we move until it die off? You understand what I'm I've been saying? married nine years. I'm I'm definitely down with love. I love my wife so much. As I you, just want to put that on record. As you should. As you should. <laughs> now, me, myself, Mr. Barksdale, I am as single as that dollar that you slide into the music box. You understand what I'm saying? So, for what, me... What dollar do you slide in the music box? What when you in the bar about? and you want to hear tunes... You got to put a dollar in the music box. You know what I'm saying? And I'm j- I'm as single as that dollar. What we have right here is another brother right here. Good brother, would you like to speak on your status and state your name? Absolutely. Uh, my name is uh, Cody. Um, my situation is a little complicated, um, but I'll consider myself single. Um, but my interests range. I'll just keep it at that. But, I mean... Here you go. I'll pass it off to another good brother of mine. Uh, yeah, my name's Kali. Um, my name's Kali. I'm a Scorpio. I make long walks <laughs> on the beach, but um, I am taken um, almost three years, October 12th. Not married, though. Just taken, though. And, and I'm passing this mic off to the next person. Come on. You already know who I am. Is your truly will, Mega. I'm chiming in with these guys about this subject matter. I'm just staying chiming in. Yo, is this? He, he's, he's lifting weights in the back. <laughs> Yo, yeah. In between. yeah. This is my bachelor pad that we're recording all of this stuff in. I just live alone. And Yo, be a is, man. Is this? Where are these mics alive? Yes. Mics okay, alive. I'm just making sure. So, so fellas, I want. Somebody else take this mic. You, you, I don't need you, a mic. You doubt in my um I'm technical just skills. A question. So, 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 fellas, I just want to open up the floor. You know, a lot of young, a lot of ladies out here, they feel like yeah. us men, educated and employed, and doing the positive things in this world. Excuse me. Um, they think that uh, we care less about relationships. We care less about love. And all we want to do is just hit the ass and roll out or play them for suckers and roll out. And I just want to, for, for the ladies and everybody that's listening, just give them a sense of, you know, what, what an educated young male and older male thinks about in terms of dealing with these ladies. So I open up the floor to anybody who wants to chime in first and speak. Who's going first? I will go first. <clears throat> um, unless another brother wants to, okay, I will definitely go first. Yeah. Um, as I would say, the the youngest man in the room, um, I would say it's hard for me to really try to put this into words, but trying to have a stable relationship at the age of twenty three, mm. seeing as I'm I'm young, exactly. Y'all said, Look "Damn, like yeah, I'm dog. young." Oh my god, who, who gave like, him what? the mic? Who gave him the mic? Like what? Yeah, I'm super young, but. Trying to establish and maintain a, a, a relationship at my age just is don't try it. It's, just it's, don't it's, do it's, it's, it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> just don't do it. Take it for listen, man. Take it from your old head. Don't do it. <laughs> but then, but then, I could play devil's advocate right now because then if I do find that one person that I don't want to give up, mm-hmm. then I'm like, wow, I could honestly kick all people, other people. I'm just gonna say other people to the side. Mm-hmm. What was and name? Cody Nichols. Cody Nichols. Who's all these other people? Okay. Um, my name is Cody Nichols. Mm-hmm. Uh, gra- I'm a graduate of Dickinson College. Yeah. Hey. Um, Z Kappa Noops. Yeah. Shouting them out right now. Yeah. Um, I am. I was a mathematics and economics double major. Uh, oh. Exactly. Look at this right nigga now. doll. Yes. And I'm, people say math. What? Yes, math. He's throwing the race <laughs> on his back, doll. Um, I'm a strong. I'm a strong black male. Uh. I'm a strong black male that's working, working, working out, and also working at a Fortune 500 company. Yeah. Um, an analyst at Campbell Soup. Yeah. Um, doing my thing. Um, trying to save money, live better for the future. But are you trying to save the hoes? What's Ty Dollar Sign say? Trying to get. Facebook, we do not refer to the black woman as a 
Well, I'm not referring to every black woman as a hoe. Just the hoes. Just the hoes. But that, but that, I, I, I really don't associate with those of that type. That is a lie. I don't. I won't call I do, you out I do on not. It. I do not associate with those of that type at okay. all. Well, this is Mr. Barksdale. I associate with hoes, <laughs> skip, skip, scallywags. That's him. That's him. That's him. And all respect and all, and all respectable women. My name is Mr. Barksdale. I'm the host of the Stay Talking Ish podcast show. Um, I am a college graduate. I'm a behavior specialist at a, a agency that I will not speak and say the name. Um, you know, like I said before, I'm single as a dollar bill. Um, and basically, listen, man, for for the for the young guys that's younger than me, man, I'm telling you, I'm just telling you to play and live while you're young, man. I mean, Stacy. Listen, Stacy. I understand that Stacy Long doesn't agree, but Stacy Long doesn't know what it is to be a young black male. And what I'm saying is, you a young black male, bro. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your time, and th- and then look for the right one, or let the right one fall in your lap. But then the right, the right, the but but the right one never falls in your lap, though, because you know why? Mm-hmm. It's it. Uh, but a not lot, in your uh, not in your lap, though. though. But a lot of a lot of the women uh-huh. today, in yeah. my opinion, yeah. they always go for the the, the 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 person who doesn't. They always go for the projects. Yeah, but you want. They, but, but, but they, they hold, hold on. Okay. They, they they always go for the project. And what I mean by the project, they always go for the individuals who they feel as though they need to work on. Uh-huh. Who they always feel the they always they go they always go for the black individuals who they. No, I'm not. I'm gonna rephrase that. They always go for You're the black. They always go for the black males mm-hmm. who fe- who they feel. They need to work on and, yeah. and, need, and need to make better. Yeah. But they, but Stacey, you can disagree all you want, but I'm telling you how it is from a black male perspective. Yes. And it's completely fine. Look at Because this. I respect you. I, 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 I respect quote. your opinion. Your question, yes. Do you not think that a man should be look, looking to empower his woman and a woman should well, be looking to empower oh, let me, a man? Let me, let, me, let me respond to that. I do think that a male should be looking to empower his woman. But the way that this work, but the way that this world has been going and the way that the uh, the whole paradigm has been switched just in regards to who makes the most money in relationships now between men and women and, you know, just exactly what's going on in this world. You're dealing with situations where um, women are used to being the, the, the lead of the household and taking that leadership role. And for a woman to deal with a man that is a natural leader they don't know how to humble themselves to those situations. They don't. You understand what I'm saying? So it's easier for her to deal with a project because that project needs her. You understand what I'm saying? As to where when you are a man that's standing on your own, we not together because we need each other. We together because we love each other and want to be together. You understand but, what I'm saying? Oh, and, it's, it's, crazy how, it's crazy how you feel as a woman you say needs to feel, they need to feel, or they crave the feeling to be needed. Yeah. But the, the fact is, what about the men who want to do things for the women, not just so that they feel needed? What about the men who they want to cook dinner? Stacey says Yo, hold up. They, 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 hold on, hold on. They want to cook. They, Stacey says bullshit. Bro, what? Wait, Stacey. Stacey. Stacey says hey, this, this is all I'm saying. Bro, if you out here cooking dinner on the regular, you's a sucker. No, 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 no one so, said. Bro, bro, so, no one said. No one said on the regular. Okay, all right. No one said all on right. the regular. But uh, assisting, assisting in, wi- in which the it, the ma- the main issue is the, the single parent and mother. Yeah. When they come home. Yeah. The the one thing they do they have to provide. That's right. So by the male who's not a project. Yeah. When they come to help out yeah. occasionally, yeah. maybe two times a week. Of course, they can help out by cooking dinner, taking a load off of the mother. Who said Seriously, that? Taking a load off the mother. Seriously. I just want to speak on a on a component of uh, being a male. Mm-hmm. I like to cook. Um, my, like oh. my girl, my girl doesn't really know how to cook yet. Oh man! Oh, oh. You know I mean? no! But listen, but listen. I already told her, and and I'm not even joking. Uh, right? He told her. I told her if you're to be my wife, we need. Things to be 50 50, mm-hmm. we have to be compatible. I need you to, to work with me. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to come home every night and either I'm cooking or we got to order out because you you can't keep up your end of the bargain in this relationship. Yeah. That's, that's that's my only issue. You know, if we're together, things are 50 50. We, we splitting it down the middle. Yeah. So we've had this, this, and even her girlfriend, so like, listen, 
y'all getting close to that time where you know this guy looking like he won't be with you for the, rest of, for the rest of his life. But if you're not meeting him halfway, then that's not really fair. That's true. You know that, but that's just one small thing. But still, I like to eat. That's important to me. And my, and you know, when if I when if I have kids and I have kids with this woman, mm-hmm. I want her to be able to n- give them the proper nourishment that they need. And it can't just come from one parent. Hey, but this is what I'm saying can to I you. Chime in? Can Go I ahead, chime in? chime in. So, in my opinion, when it when it comes to a man cooking, that's a that's a great um, Skill. example, right? Skill. It it boils down more to the things you have agreed to in your relationship roles. So, an outsider who's not in this relationship can't say to me, "If you're a man, you cooking every day. You are, you know, you are whatever, right?" No, the two of you come together in a relationship. And you agree to terms, right? So let's say you are a chef. You're a man and you're a chef. Why wouldn't you be the person cooking? Not that your woman can't cook, but if my if my woman is a lawyer, right, and we're dealing with some legal issues, guess who's going to be dealing with that stuff? Her. I'm not going to be reading that paperwork. Baby, what do it say? What do you think we should do? All right, that's what we're doing. So, you, I, and like, when, when I'm in a relationship with a woman, my my – thing is let's look at what skills we both bring to the table Mm -hmm. we have terms of an agreement right Mm -hmm. i'm not taking away gender roles Mm -hmm. right people have different religions they got different cultures they have different ideas of what relationships are i don't think it's a one size fit all and i think what works best for people is when they identify what their roles will be from the start and they adjust accordingly as they move on. Mm-hmm. They won't be able to identify those roles because women seemingly always go towards the projects and the. What do you mean the projects? They always go. They always go towards those projects, and also they always go for the. the I'm gonna just be blunt. They always go for the thug niggas. Mm-hmm. They always go mm-hmm. for the thug niggas. Yo, let me you ask got, you a question. Listen, hold on, hold you on. You got a beard and no job and live with your mother. You mama? got a bad woman right now. Listen, listen. You got a bad listen, woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh hold, on hold on, hold on. Turn us down a little bit. Oh my god. Listen, I, j- I just, want, I just, I just want to say this. If you got a beard and no job and you live at home with your moms, you you got the baddest chicks in the city right now. All the you time. Uh huh. And you do have a job. Uh huh. You don't have a woman. I'm not saying you don't have a woman, but you ain't got a plethora like old boy who played PS3 all day. Yeah, so I got I got one thing to say, right? Yeah. Because I think I'm like the only married guy in here. Yeah, you are. Married man talking. What you saying is bullshit. <laughs> How? <laughs> How? Right. How? Number one, because not all women want thugs. Wow. I, I mean, no. I met my wife in high school, right? Right. And so like I wasn't, well, I was doing some okay. shit, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. either way. Um, she didn't just want a thug. You right. just gotta find the right woman. Right. The bad part is you finding the wrong women. Mm. Right. If you find the right person, she's gonna be with a. She's gonna want somebody who's doing good for themselves. Look at this. Right. Nigga the question is, though. are you are you finding women that are on the same level as you? Hmm. That's a that is, now that is a really good question. However, I'm gonna put it to you like this: based off of the women that are out here, and I'm I'm not saying I'm putting myself out there. But I'm not marketing myself as like, oh, like I'm definitely like interested in you and da da da. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not like I'm not marketing myself as an individual that's out there right now. But I'm also not marketing myself as an individual that's taking. You know? Hey, yo, hey, so Cody, I'm saying, are you are you finding chicks in the library? Are you I mean, finding I mean, chicks in the library? That's a good Cody point. Doesn't, chicks in the he doesn't I mean, go to the library. I mean, like, under, hey, like understand. Let me, this. let me chime in. Let me chime in. Hey, Cody, hey, Cody, hey, this one, Cody. No, you, you got it all wrong. Yo, let, now so you made a great point, Doctor Naeem Akbar. Wrote a book over 20 years ago. He said, and, and it sounds very simple. If you want, he was speaking a woman. If you want to find a good man, go to where there are good men. If you want to find a good woman, go to where there are good women. So what is the point, Cole? If you're fishing for tilapia or you're fishing for bluefish you gotta ca- you have to cast your net where the bluefish swim yeah but he, you he, can't be saying but he on that finish. light skin shit he like oh, i'm yeah, waiting yeah, for yeah, chicks no, to me no, no, you no, you you be, i mean i'm not done young brother you're for, you're 23 i'm 44 i've i've broken up with more women than you've approached when i'm what what up but I, that doesn't make me correct in what i'm about to say I'm just saying my my experience has been that over time, what I've realized is one, 
you have to have some specific things you're looking for in women. And two, you need to know where to find those women. Can I comment, please? Okay, you, you use this whole fisherman metaphor, so we can go into use other metaphors too, okay? So, you've please cast, don't, you, please you, don't you, you, you've cast, you've cast your, you've cast your net out for blue fish. Red fish. You got all, you had to eat regardless, right? You do got to eat. Look at this. You had to eat regardless, though. right? Sometimes you got to fast, my brother. And you can fast, but you're going to be one starving motherfucker. Yeah. You're going to be one starving motherfucker. You had to eat. Point, simple and plain. Sim- my point being, I'll let you talk. Yo, I'll let and you I'm talk. next. Okay. And I'm next. So, I, I'm I, and, I, and, I, and, so I'm, and I hope they hear me. <laughs> I hope y'all hear me. Because I'm on, because, you know, it's this thing where, you know, if, and I'm going to say based off of, I guess, women in the past who I have, have spoken to, some of you tend, and I'm putting you in a category, women in a category, yes, you tend to gravitate towards the thug guy, the, 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 the man who's Tim, who seems to be more of a thug. I think then, then excuses for not having enough swag, Nah, I, I just want to, let me say this, let me say this. I don't even think that it's a situation of them uh, gravitating towards the thug guy as much as it is a woman want to feel protected when they with a certain guy. You understand what I'm saying? So, nah, she not looking for the joker that she thinks she could beat in a fair fight. You know what I'm saying? She not, she not, she, she not looking for the joker. Ish, I, I can square with the best nah, nah, of them. That's but, but, what I'm but, but, saying. But listen like, to me, good brother. This ain't a personal attack on you. Understood, understood. You understand what I'm saying? They looking for the guy that when they out here in the streets, they know, as, uh, as my man in the movie said, you will put the backhand on Jesus if he disrespects her. You understand what I'm saying? So, of course, that's where that that that's that's what these women are looking for. But I want to be quite honest, man. Stacy can keep going listen, in. That's she, perfect. She, 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 listen, I, 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 I respect I respect what Stacy's saying, and you could say you attract what you are and all, all now. But you could you people have dealt with college women, dealt with professional women dealt with women who uh, just work in women of all walks of life and at the at, 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 and, and races and religions yeah. but at the end of the day you know what I'm saying if you were, if you a male and you doing something positive with your life hold on hold on Stacy said stop chasing the ass we're no, a room full of hold men. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't have to chase ass. You can chase intelligence. Man, listen, hold on. Let me what address. Are you talking about? Hold on. Let me address Stacy. Hold up. For real, for real, Stacy. For us that's single, it's pimp or die. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm chasing the ass. <laughs> Aside from me chasing my money and accolades that I want with my life. Now, when I got a lady. I'm chasing the ass less. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and <laughs> Stacy speaking for himself. Um. <laughs> and that's pretty much it but the, i think the struggle with all us educated men that's sitting here right now that's single that's that's uh you know one day looking to not die alone and have a wife and have a children and have that whole uh american dream or family structured dream let, let, let me you understand what i'm saying i think i think i think that the biggest thing that we are looking for is just a happy home you want to come home and be happy Every day, you understand what I'm saying. You wanna, you wanna have a situation <laughs> where. Stacy says, "Fine, you get what you get." Stacy, all I'm saying is, is this: we gonna get what we get, but that's not getting what we want. If I want seventy thousand dollars a year, you offer me sixty five. I'm not turning that sixty five down. I want that sixty five. You understand? <laughs> what, you understand what I'm saying? But when the opportunity comes for me to get that seventy seventy five, don't feel bad when I be like, "I right, Stacy, I'm chucking the deuce Uh-oh. for the money that I need." Dollar. Stacey, listen, Stacy is more than welcome to dial in. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. yeah. So I think the big, I think the biggest thing as as, as as men and we looking for love out here and we looking to be married is just make it the one that we invest our time in. We want equally investment from her. You understand what I'm saying? And we just want to always feel like she got our back, like we got her back. You know what I mean? Like that, that that's just that's just bringing it all the way, all the way full circle. Like you know what I mean? So anybody else wants to a a a uh a uh uh uh, uh disgruntled? Would you would you like to share your thoughts on this? I have nothing to share. I'm just producing this this time around. 
let me let me now let me quarterback this. All right. I'm gonna quarterback this for a second. I have I'm gonna have, I have some questions for you all, right? Okay. So uh, I'm gonna bring a little structure. So we kind of like we were like round robin then, mm-hmm. right? Question number one for okay. for you ish. Okay. In 30 seconds or less, and okay. we're gonna go around. So get your get your answers prepared. Okay. Describe your ideal woman. Um, the ideal woman for Mr. Barksdale, looks wise, you gotta have a turkey. No, that's not the superficial shit because it's important to me. You know, I, for, it's important to me. You got to have a fat ass. That's number one. Number two, I got to be able to look at you every day. When I wake up in the morning, I got to be like, yo, I love her. When we go to bed at night, I got to be like, damn. Oh, now they cut you off. Yeah. You got another comment. Yeah. From Janae. No. So what I'm saying is, uh, I, 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 got, I, got, I got to be able to look at you every day. Now, aside from that, I need my woman. She don't have to be educated, but she definitely got to be goal and career oriented. You don't have to have a college degree to be my woman, but goddamn, like, have some aspirations at your place of employment. Let's be somewhere where you're trying to be there for life and, and retire from there. Um, I know that. And, you know, after that, I need her to be able to bear children. You know what I'm saying? And Edwards has a fat ass with a bunch of crying mothers. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? And number one. Number one. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, if you think about what they say in the mental of black men, a fat ass and good hips say that she's a woman that can bear children. And I need a, wo- I, I need a woman of mine to be able to bear five to eight children. All right, All right, we, we, got, we got Stacy dialed in right okay. now. Stacy, we listen to you, Stacy. Listen to me. We're just, Stacey's we're just, we're on the speaker. Stacy, speak. Stacey, speak. I'm, I'm coming, you, this, we're looking at you. You're a speaker right now. Say what you guys say, Stacy. Well, good evening, gentlemen. How are you? Good hey, evening, evening. Stacy. Yo, hold How on. Are you, hey, 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 hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, Stacy, you got that sexy voice, though. <laughs> That don't mean we can't love you, Stacey, though. Stacey, Aaliyah said it best. Age ain't nothing but a number. And, and going out ain't nothing but a thing. Will you, will you let them know? Stacey, <laughs> Stacey, Stacey, know Stacey, for 20 Stacey, years at least. Yes, you have. Oh, that's 20 years of knowledge. Stacey, I appreciate Stacey, that. Make a little more. Make a little more. But that don't mean we can't treat Stacey, you right, though. Go ahead. Let, let the sister speak. Because you're, you're on the speaker. We're videoing the speaker. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, let me just, you know, let me give you a little piece of advice about women. You know, as strong as as strong as we have had to be over the years, we Yo, why are you taping this nigga's knees, though? Unconditionally. No one can diss him. I mean, okay, let me just speak for myself. All right, let me just speak for myself as a single woman. Um... Both of my children are college graduates with HBCU, by the way. Which, what HBCU, um, Stacey? Howard University and Bethune Cookman University. Great, great choices. So, anyway, um, you know, I've been out here uh, moving through life for a very long time. I had to do it by myself. Hey, Stacey. One of the things that, yeah. Hey, Stacey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stacey, you've been out here moving through life, though? Yes. Stace, are you married? No. So, Stace, you've been out here moving. <laughs> Stace. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's go, Look at Stacy go. Let's go, Stacy. Hey. Do you have it? What are your feelings about Stacy? Um, Let's go. <laughs> Look at Stacy. Look at Stacy, though. No, I'm gonna I'm I'm just let him. I'm gonna let him get it. Well, I'm gonna let him get it out this system. So y'all go on. Get you gonna let it? Go system, go then I'm gonna talk. Go ahead, Stacy. You got it. Stacy, you got. Th- uh, you have 60 seconds to make your point. We have other callers on the line. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Listen, all I'm going to say is, you know, the young man was talking about, um, you know, the women want to thug. Everybody don't want to thug. Just like every brother don't want a hoe. Hey, okay? Hey, Stace. So you, want, you, want, you, want, you, want, you want fish in the sea? Get out the swamp. 
But it's good fish in the swamp, Stacy. Well, then you then 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 don't be surprised at what you might end up with. Don't complain about it. Don't whine about it, cause don't nobody care. Hey, Stace. So you mean to tell me that you feel comfortable out here walking in these streets with not Stefan Urkel, but Steve Urkel? Somebody been done slap the whole bumblecloth out of him. Oh, I, I can't hear you. That I'm well. sorry. I'm sorry. It's even hey. with you fishing in the deep blue, you wind up with little guppies. So what are you talking about? Ooh, what do you mean? What am I talking about? Even, like I said, you, you if said, you want, you, said, you, you said, want to fish in the sea, you Stacey, stop swimming in the swamp. Stacey, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I was in the swamp. St- Stacey, I, I understand you might have never swam in the swamp. I don't think I've ever been in a swamp either. So I, I can I can attest to what you're saying. However, when you when you fish in the deep blue. That's clear water we're talking about. You still wind up with little guppies even when you bait them. And parasites. And parasites too. And you know what? We all we've all made choices in our life, whether but I'll tell you one thing. One of the things about the choices you make in your life, you either learn from them or you continue to repeat them. So Stace, so Stace, you out here making bad choices, Stace? Thank you, Will. Take care. Hey Stace, we love you, Stace. I was I was doing the profiles. No, the question was, what is your ideal? It doesn't. It, it doesn't have to be. It, I don't care what kind of degree or you have or what kind of. So does she have to have a degree? You don't have to have a degree. No, no. I, I, sorry, you're, you're absolutely right. You don't have to have a degree. Okay. As long as you can maintain an uh, uh, an interesting conversation, you can keep me engaged on a day to day basis. You can. Yo, man, we in here sound. Yo, we in here. Hold up. We, we in here sounding like Doctor Phil, man. Do, yo, this, the, is, this is this is not my. Yo, man. This is not my answer. This is not the roast of Cody Nichols. I hear all that, but I have a key question. Yo, we in here sounding like stay talking estrogen. Listen, man. <laughs> I have one question. Yo, I, I was going somewhere. With this. I was going somewhere with this one. Listen, the ideal woman gotta put the team on her back, though. You know what I'm saying? So my question to you, Cole, is this: the last three women you've dated, oh god, did they have college degrees? Yes. Two out of three. Two out of three. Mm-hmm. So sixty-six percent of the women that you date have a college degree. I'm coming. That's an F. What's your What's your ideal woman, sir? Somebody tell to get to the point. All right, so. My ideal woman is someone that's equally yoked as me, and this is what I mean by that. Mm-hmm. She needs to be college educated. Mm-hmm. I just received my master's degree, May twenty second, two thousand sixteen. Hey, Look at this okay. nigga, Early though. Early childhood education. So, my ideal woman, she needs to be well educated, at least master's level. If not master's level, one fifty one. My my current lady, she's currently pursuing her. My current lady is pursuing her master's degree, and she graduates next year. Okay, so she's fill, f- fulfilling one half of that. Also, like I said, I mentioned the cooking part. We're working on that. Mm-hmm. Also, you need to be able to uh, meet me halfway on everything that we do. You know, if we go out, you know, it's 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 a new day and age. You know, we 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 we, we grew up with this ideal that a woman should be uh, submissive or willing to let a man pay for everything. That's not the case to me. I mean, I don't mind paying for everything, but at the same time, if you're willing to come halfway, let's get it. Also, I need a woman who can. Manage things on her own Who doesn't need to, to, to look for me for everything you know, you know what I mean I know there are some things that I can do that she can't And that's why I'm going to step up But if she can take If she can take care of her That too If she can take care of You know certain things that doesn't need my assistance That's good and well I don't want anyone that's timid or dependent Or, or, or dependent You want a woman that can sacrifice Yes Okay, a woman who can sacrifice that 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 as well. I agree with that point. Um, because I I find myself sacrificing. Yeah, yeah. No, he said, hey, yo, hey, hey, bros, hey, bros. Yo, hey, bros, hey, bros. Listen, man, I gotta be honest, man. At the end of the day, man, uh, the ideal woman for every man gotta be able to put the team on her back, though. You understand what I'm saying? Took the dedication, though. That's it. Like you got, you got to be able to hold it down. Like we sitting here and we talking and we being all politically correct. The stay talking ish podcast show is not about being politically correct. It's about stating the facts from your heart, stating the facts about what it is. Hey, ish, we we not we. What do I bring to the table? I'm a college educated man. Hey, I, I, I I'm a college educated man. Hey, what's your 
My background is in behavior, health, and education. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I know what it is to live with 10 people in a one-bedroom apartment. I know what it is to have my own. You know, I have my own. You know what I'm saying? I'm fully independent. But it's not a this, this podcast show, this episode, is not about us and what we bring to the table. It's about what we love, our ideas of love, and what we need next to us. You understand what I'm saying? For me, for me, the definition of love is like the greatest level of understanding. Like, you understand what I'm saying? No, you know, you know. When I was, I, I'm, I'm, I was born into the nation of Islam. Like, so you learn you. So what I'm saying is, is when you uh, gain the knowledge of somebody and then you gain wisdom and can speak wisely of them, then you understand them. And the greatest level of understanding is when you know this person and this person knows you. You don't love a person you don't know. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to give you my ideal woman and then after my ideal woman, I'm coming for your stalker stories. If you have a stalker story... We need you to call in, and we're going to give Ooh, stalker out story. Sta- stalker, story. stalker stories. All right. Can Back I share mine? You, I'm, I'm going to give my ideal woman, then I'm coming to you about your stalker story. My yeah. ideal woman is a black woman. Stacy, you find those kind of swamp, right? <laughs> you find those in the swamp, right, Stacy? No, the stalkers be in the ocean. The, the stalkers be in the ocean. They're everywhere. No. So, my ideal woman. One, she's a black woman. Thank she you. is a black woman. Two. She is smarter than me. If I do not have a woman that's smarter than me, 99.9% of the time, nine, 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 I'm going to take advantage of her um, because that's my weakness. My weakness is, is, is I need to work on that. So I, I know, I know I need you a woman who's smart. Well, I'm not slumming. No, I'm just saying. You're the I, Lord of the slums. I'm not the Lord of the slums. I just need a woman. I know I need a woman smarter than me. Two, she has to be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for who you think of. Oh, my precious. <laughs> I'm looking for your precious. <laughs> Two, yeah. smarter than me. Three. Uh, she has to be culturally in tune with herself. She has to have a knowledge of who, what she is, who God is, and so what time it is. So if she masturbates, is she culturally in tune with herself? If she, if she's humanly in tune with herself, if okay. she masturbates. All right. All right. All right. I mean, we talk about my woman, my ideal woman. So even to, <laughs> to di- you're disrespecting her. <laughs> Yo, what did she say? Stacy uh, said, "Tell youngin." He don't want this oh. for real. Oh, Yo. oh! Tell her which wait a minute, wait a minute. Which youngin', which youngin are you talking about? Because I know you're not talking about me. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm not the sh- delay. I'm, I'm not the young. I'm not a youngin. Tell right. young. Tell David Lopez. Is now David Lopez. Lopez. I about to fix my ideal Tell woman. I'm almost done. Hell? My last thing, my ideal woman has to be a woman that is morally sound and extremely ambitious. Now we're going with the stalker stories. I need the phone number again, Stan. Tell What's the phone number? 215-839-6508. Stacy, the question is, which youngin were you talking about? She says, not you will. I know because I'm, I'm an old Wait, head. Tell her, do which she one? want this smoke? <laughs> Wait a minute. Stacy. Do you want this smoke? <laughs> I think she was talking to the young boy. I think she was too. I, I think, think she, she was too. It's okay. It's Lopez says, "Stop lying." <laughs> <laughs> and Stacy says, "Not you will." Right, yeah. Listen. No comment. Let's go. Stalk the story. Stalk the oh. story. Here we go. So when I was a freshman in college, like the first month or two in college i had broken up with my uh girlfriend prior to that right so one night it was a friday night the weekend i um get a call from one of my friends on campus Mm -hmm. and she's like yo um what are you doing i'm like nothing why oh such and such is here on campus i'm like huh yeah she said she came to see you but she's in my room right now Mm -hmm. I had no clue or idea that this girl was on campus or coming to see me. We were broken up. So, you know, oh, I go. Stacey oh, 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 oh Stacy gonna show up. Oh, 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 oh. Stacy wanted to come. Go. Be careful. Oh man. That's the stalker move. 
That is the stalker move. Uh, Yo, I just want to be clear, bros. I, 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 I want to be clear, bros. Stacy just said that she going to pull up. Hey, Stacy, if, if you going to pull up, pull up. Yeah. So I had to cut the episode short. It got kind of weird after that. We're not going to talk about it. But anyway, make sure you listen to the State Talking Ish podcast show, all the old episodes, too. Uh, you can reach out to us at statetalkingish.com, on State Talking Ish, on SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, at State Talking Ish on Twitter. Make sure you check out the State Talking Ish radio show, Friday night, 6 to 8, BigBadRadio.com. You can download the iOS or the Android app. Um, We out of here. See you next time.